Victoria Bershears here with 2412 Realty Group, powered by Keller Williams Platinum Partners. And today we are visiting with Marilyn Snare. She is a local legend and folk artist, and we're very excited to be here. Her house is a wonderful place to be. It's filled with just creative treasures throughout and we just thought it would be fun for you to hear from somebody that lives within the community and a little bit more about um, what she does so Very tell good. us a little bit about why you love art and what got you started i've always loved art i've always loved to make things but i feel that creativity is my spiritual gift and so i try and and pick subjects uh, that glorify God, that make people happy. Uh, we need it in this world. <laughs> when you were growing up, were you artistic? I've always, from, from very young, mother said I would decorate the paper napkins for the meals. I would uh, find cardboard and paper to draw pictures. So I've always loved to create. What's your median of choice? That's hard to say because I, I love to write my stories in my journal. Uh, and I love to paint the pictures that go with it. I love to work with fabric, make fabric creations. So I'd say it's all pretty even. <laughs> you just like it all. You just like, like to create. Did you have somebody who inspired you? Or Learning. I think the first artist that inspired me was Tasha Tudor, and she was a children's illustrator. Book She wrote books for children, and I loved her little style, uh, little homey pictures of family uh, activities, and I've always enjoyed doing that type of work of catching a, a memory and putting it on canvas. You haven't always lived in this community. You no. used to be in the city, right? and then you've lived here how long? I moved down here in 1976. 1976. And, and what would you say is your favorite thing about living here? Well, I like the country atmosphere. I had all this in the city, too. I had the flower gardens in place to create and all that. But uh, this is where my husband really wanted to come, and it was family land, and uh, so we built our own house from scratch, and labor of love. You're really active in the community. Well, I, I am not as much as I used to be. We're in our 80s now, so things have changed a little bit. But uh, I still belong to Harrisonville Fine Arts. And I show my work there at the atrium in Harrisonville Library and uh, banks and doctor's office and community center. So I take part in that. And then church, we're active in the choir and, and teaching. And uh, I belong to the chat and sew group, the quilting group mm -hmm. there. And then I'm in sorority, they signify, and I'm in the tops group. Take What's off, the top screen? Take off pants sensibly. <laughs> I think I've been in that 40 years or more. <laughs> and uh, we, enjoy, we enjoy this small town living. What would you say is your favorite thing about small town living? It's probably just uh, being able to go out your door and walk anywhere you want to walk and and enjoy nature. I know you used to have art. We loved going to Kurzweil's before they had their fire. And when you went in there, you saw all of this wonderful art. And most of it was from this lovely lady. Oh, where, where can we find your art? I do have it at the Brick Coffee uh, Bar and Eatery on the square at Harrisonville. And that is all for nonprofit. It goes to charity, uh, Orphan Hope World Ministries. Okay. I love to create. What do I do with all this stuff? So I have decided that from now on, most of it's going to be for charity. I have it at banks and doctor's office in Harrisonville, uh, community center, and uh, the atrium. And then I have a, a mural at the First Baptist Church of Archie in the children's room. 
and uh, quite a few people around town have it in their homes. <laughs> Including us! <laughs> I've been very fortunate to have uh, some people from the the uh, Grassroots Arts Center in Lucas, Kansas uh, make a request to have my folk art paintings. So when I'm through with them, uh, they are going to take the rest of my big paintings, the folk art paintings, the towns and the villages and anything else. They said, we'll take it all. Right. They're a big museum, yes. And uh, we went down there and I took some of my artwork and they said, Oh, yes, we want it. So that's how I found out about it. And they fell in love with you. Yep. <laughs> they nice. like it. <laughs> nice. And it's on display. I have seasonal work there. I, they have a collection for every season they bring out. Wow. So it's, it's fun. Sounds like a day trip to me. It's probably going to be worth it to see what she does and what so many other folk artists yeah, do. It is fun. We'll make sure in the link down below that you know where you can find the Marilyn Snares Folk Arts and make sure you just take a trip and go see it. When you purchase something, you know that you are 100% of the proceeds are going to support the Orphan World Hope Ministry. And so not only will you have art to enjoy, but you'll be touching lives around the world. And that is an awesome way to share your creativity. Thank you so much for having us in your home and spending this time with us and letting people get to know you. We'll see you next time. Victoria Brashear is here with 2412 Realty Group. Craig's behind the camera. And um, don't forget to live, shop, and play local. <laughs>